You can come to the f- after party. You can't come. It's the scariest thing in the entire world. I love your smile. Beautiful. Can I have fifty dollars? Fifty dollars? For what? There's these new shoes at the mall that I really want. You don't need any more shoes. What kind of shoes are they? They're like clear. They're really cool. They're clear. Yeah. I'd go ask Daddy. I can be such a pushover when it comes to money, so I'm gonna let Bruce take care of this one because he loves teaching the girls life lessons about money. Kendall, you have to think about what you're asking for because money doesn't grow on trees. Yes, it does. It's paper. Ugh. Hey, Daddy. Hey, buddy. What's up? Can I have fifty dollars? Fifty bucks. You know, I have no problem with giving my kids an allowance, but on the other hand, they got to do something for it. I just don't give money away. I'm going with my friends to the mall. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. Let's set up a little thing for you what? to earn the money. What is it? All right, walking the dog. How much is that worth? Um, we used to get like five dollars. I'll make it ten. I'm feeling generous. Washing the car. That's twenty. Interior, an additional ten. Okay, car. Ten bucks a day for keeping your room clean. So we can start adding all that sort of stuff up, and I think probably pretty quickly you could earn your fifty bucks. Hey, what's up? He said no, but like he's never gonna see it. You have to keep this a secret, but I think I'm gonna go to Vegas to get a tattoo. I never wanted it to come to this, but my dad doesn't understand what this tattoo means to me and why it's so important. Look, here's a flight for like eleven o'clock in the morning to go to Vegas. And how do you expect to get the tattoo when you're there? All I need is like a consent form. Mom like didn't exactly say no, but I just need to get her to sign it. You have fun with that. So will you go with me? If I didn't go, would you go alone? Come on, Kylie, just come. I'll call the car service right now. If you call the car service, I will go. It is crazy that my sister is asking me to go to Vegas with her, but I'm in. I need it this Saturday, and I have an 11 o'clock flight, so can it please be here at 8? Great, thank you. Bye. My Sherry Hill photo shoot, and this is so exciting and so fun. Kim, this is the famous Sherry Hi. Hill. Kim, How I'm so you? delighted to meet you. Me too. Kendall is so excited. She's our dream model. Her body is incredible. Those yeah. long legs. Oh my gosh. Look at your sister. What has happened to her? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she grew up in New York overnight. You she looks amazing. Look amazing. amazing. Exciting. Go. That's exactly how you would Beautiful. walk down the runway. Yes. Smile. You're New York, baby. Come on. Give it. Yes. Yes. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous smile. Boy, you grew up. Chin. Laugh. Smile. Look at the yes. Perfect. And smile. Oh, I love your smile. Love your smile. Love your smile. Beautiful. She looks so beautiful. It's so crazy how she's transformed. I mean, she looks like a grown-up. Wow. Kendall, this is gorgeous. I don't like the, this one. I think your face looks like too dark. Yeah. Hey, guys. You're doing beautifully. Thank you. It's looking good. One of our biggest clients from the UK is coming in on Monday. Mm -hmm. We usually do a little runway show when they come, have mm -hmm. two or three models. Do you ever do runway or never? I've never done it before, no. Really? Mm -hmm. Hi, Dad. I'm very mad at you about something, so. Did you publicly, like, did you have your publicist announce that you were going? Because I don't know how everyone knows, and now it's a huge story, and I'm actually pissed at you. Okay, well, then you knew that was gonna happen, and I, that's so annoying. Okay, well, then I don't want you to go. A lot of people assume that I get jobs from my family, but it's actually kind of the opposite. It made me have to work even harder to get what I wanted, so I get scared that if my dad goes, that's kind of a media frenzy, and now it's kind of all blowing up. You're gonna take the biggest night of my life and take it away from me? Thank you. No, you can't. You can come to the after party. You can't come. I'm so tired. You are? What's been going on? This stupid sleep paralysis thing is like really getting to me. 
Sleep paralysis. What is that? It's like you're asleep and then like the middle of the night, basically your mind wakes up but your body's still asleep. So like you wake up but nothing can move. Wait, Can't speak. What? Nothing. It's Who's the scariest. What? Me. It's the scariest thing in the entire world. You literally and think you you're can't never going to be able pull to move your body again. up. Right? Can't do anything. You're freaking out. Like because all you want to do is be able to move. So you're laying there and you're trying to move. But I think the key and is to try and relax. It? Nothing. I had someone break into my house. I used to be the one who was so independent. I was always kind of by myself in a good way, but now it's like fully flipped. So what exactly happened with this dude? Oh my God. So I came home one night and there was a guy sitting on the side of my street and I was like, that's so weird. Like he just looked like a homeless man, like sitting in his knees like this uh, in the street. And so I was like, that's weird. So I like drove around him. I went into my uh, house and I watched the gate close. So I turned my car off, getting my stuff together. I'm about to open my door and I look in my rear view mirror and he was standing in, like right there with, I just saw his like figure. In the gate? In the gate, right behind my car. And you see him? And I saw him, I saw and his like, figure. I'm freaking out. And he goes, I need to talk to you. And I was like, no, oh. like you need to leave. And I like, so I called one of my friends immediately. I'm oh. sobbing, crying. He's at my window, banging on my oh window, my screaming God. at me. So then I finally start backing out and I get to my gate. The gate opens and I get out. And then all of a sudden starts running after me. At that moment is when my friends pulled up and they like had him sit on the curb. And we waited for the police to come and I'm like crying. I'm like freaking out. He went to jail, right? He's in jail, and until we go to trial, he stays in jail. That's scary. Yep. You want to try that cow shirt? Could be cute with your shoes. Don't. I wanted to wear your brown other outfit, but then Kylie comes in, and everyone yeah. comes down to Kylie and lets her wear whatever the she wants. Whenever we are in Palm Springs, we really just stay at the house. We don't really leave um, the community and it's always just chill vibes. So I didn't even really think to bring something to go out in. I didn't think we were gonna leave the house. I came in first, and you offered me those outfits. Yeah. First. So that's why I'm just like annoyed. I just, I feel really underdressed, and I had said something earlier today that I didn't really have anything to go out in, and Courtney was like, oh my God, I have so many looks. Um, if you need to borrow anything, just come into my room, literally take whatever you want. Kim, do you have an extra outfit for Kendall? Yeah, she can go look. Um, wait, let me see, see what, what I've Kim got. Has? I like that, but do you want me to see? Okay. 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 It was for me. She literally offered to me while we were laying Kendall, I am such a cute dress coming. It's sheer. It's I'm ready. Whatever, you're a hater. You're not going to ruin my f***ing night. I'm having a good time. Hey, you ruined, ruined my f***ing night, so I can do whatever the f*** I want. No, I had the best it. dress oh, coming here. Hey, easy. Let's try and get a good rally going. Uh, hey, why would you do that? Oh, she knows what she's doing. All right, ready? Go, Kim, go. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. That no, was you're a little fine. to the left. I'm not good at this. Like, I actually know oh, how to play volleyball. Scott, it's yours. Ah. This is very hard to watch. Oh, sh go Let run. us get in on this. Yeah, come on. This is embarrassing, you guys. Ugh. The Kardashians versus the Jenners? Yeah, but let me serve. I don't know if you know what you're doing. Shut up. As siblings, we're always competitive, but Kendall has been talking a lot about how the Jenners are genetically gifted, and this is something that, like, makes my blood boil. I did this blood test. They told me that I'm super athletic and that I'm built for this shit. But I'm athletic, too. Are you, though? I am. <laughs> what are you talking about? We are not genetically gifted, but we have fought harder to be athletes, to work out, to have a routine. Yeah. We are the true athletes here. I Take forgot. You go like this? Like this. Don't give her any tips, you I used cheater. to play this. We used to play. Bro, well, then if you used to play, to do it. Three times top. Watch out, skinny bitch. All right. Ow. Yeah. Oh my God. comes to sports, I do like to win. My dad always just had so much faith in Kylie and I when it came to like being athletic. Come on. We grew up 
daddy's girls with those Olympic jeans, so. The Jenners, we're just, we have it in us. Oh, oh sh Chocolate in their bum crack so it melts when they wake. <laughs> I think that's the winner. She's just gonna think she went to the bathroom. She's gonna think she was so drunk. What? <laughs> Look on my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's on you. What is it? We wanted you to shart yourself. <laughs> Did you look it up? We tweeted, like, what, what can happened? we do to a sleeping person? And everyone, everyone said to put chocolate in their butt crack. <laughs> we wanted to see if you would tell us <laughs> if you <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Wow. <laughs>